Hello guys and welcome back to the Minecraft Military Force and today we're going to take a look at the 2021 Cold War Era Contest where you could build any military related thing during the Cold War Era in Minecraft and we have this contest on our Discord. So we're going to take a look at each entry from the order it was published and at the end we're going to have a top 10. Alright, so our first entry comes from Mr. Sister Fister. Hardos pushed during the Vietnam War. One F4 Phantom, they were losing fuel and not enough to return back to base safely. So another F4 Phantom pushed the other F4 Phantom's tailhook to return to friendly airspace. By Elater, two Su-27s doing training exercises. One has his afterburners on, the other is firing a missile. By Franks, this is the Astros 2 AVVCC, which is an artillery saturation rocket system. And this is just like the control unit for it. Then by Eggman, this is the T-55A. It's a Soviet main battle tank. And then by Lychee, this is a squadron of Su-27 fighter jets flying over some trees. And next up, we have the North Vietnam Perfume River, also known as the Song Huang. And this is built by Nobody. And that's actually his username. He has a couple of different aircraft as well as a lot of troops using armor stands. Then by Martecha, these are some F-15Es flying over Iraq during Operation Desert Storm in 10 to 1 scale. Then by Nova, we have a 295 Bear escorted by a Su-27 in 1987. It's in 1 to 1 scale. Then we have the defection of Viktor Belenko, and this is by Defense Minister of Russia. So this is a Soviet Air Force MiG-25 that was defecting to an airport in Japan, and these are some actual recreations of some black and white photos from real life. Then by squatting Gopnik, this is the Korean War diorama. It consists of two T-3485s, two F-86As, and two Willys Jeeps, as well as an M-46 patent tank. Then by Flaw 13, this is Operation Parish. Two Soviet Su-25 Frogfits attempt to blow up a bridge in order to cut the main transportation of supplies to an enemy base in the mountains of blank, so I guess this is kind of fictional. Then by Helenachi, these are some Soviet forces moving through the desert, and he also has a Mi-8 over an abandoned Iraqi town. Then by Radom 009, this is a Soviet military airport with some MiG-29s as well as some Soviet anti-air rockets, all in one-to-one -one scale. Then by Fafi, this is an SADF attacks a Swapo hideout during the South African border war circa 1990. And the result was a military stalemate and it led to the independence of Namibia from South Africa. And then by Irish, this is the Duga radar used by the Soviet Union as part of a missile defense early warning radar network. And then by Teresa, this is the USS Enterprise during the Vietnam War, CVN-65, it says E equals MC squared. Then again by Radom009, this is the Vietnam War, US Army forces moving through a Vietnamese village. And it has some M113 APCs, an M60 Patton, and a F5 Freedom Fighter. Then by Nikov, this is an Oliver Hazard Parry class frigate firing a harpoon in an exercise in 1987 near the coast of California. Then by Ryan Rock 5 was here. This is a Soviet Cold War tank, Object 279, and this is an experimental heavy tank. Then by Vault Boy, this is a T-62 tank on its way to the Vietnamese battlefield. Then by Hanza G, this is an M41 Walker Bulldog in Vietnam. Then by Guacho, this is a T-55 and BMP in the Soviet-Afghan War. Then by Leung, this is an M1 Abrams tank during the Persian Gulf War. Next up by Noodles, this is a Soviet supply convoy exiting Afghanistan about to be ambushed by Afghan forces and a destroyed T-62M. Then by Ozzy Breddy Bread 45, this is a 4 to 1 scale dogfight between a MiG-21 BIS and a F-4C Phantom II during the Vietnam War. Next up by Guacho again, these are some three M-41 Walker Bulldog tanks during the 1964 military coup in Brazil. Follow that up with Rattles. This is a Soviet submarine base featuring the SSN Akula-1 submarine, and he also does have pictures inside the base and also the submarine out of the water. Then by Rip with double eyes, this is a UH-1 Huey helicopter that crashed in a rice field in Vietnam. And next up by Minerals and Vehicles by Nat Damien. This is coalition forces pushed through Iraq in Operation Desert Storm during the Gulf War. Three Abrams tank advancing past a blown up T-72. Korean War. This is by Mr. X. Some American forces advancing on the North Korean and Chinese. The vehicles include Willys Jeep, Half Tracks, the F-86 Sabre Fighter Jets, Sherman Tank, the M-25 Dragon Wagon, and the self-propelled artillery M-7 Priest. 
Then by noodles, we have the R2 2PM topple launchers in Siberia, as well as three BTR-70s. By Itzy Greg 06, this is a KA-6D refueling an A-6E, and they're both intruder aircraft. By Aircat, this is an attack on the Iraqi nuclear reactor Operation Opera on June 7, 1981 by the Israeli Air Force. Then by SW Drilla, this is an American convoy drives past a watchtower along the West German border. It uses M48s and M113s, the Humvees, and this is in 4 to 1 scale. Then by Baba, this is an Israeli F-15A downing a Syrian MiG-25 during the Israeli raids against the Palestinians in Lebanon in 1979 to 1981. Next by Defense Minister of Russia, this is Operation Rimon 20, part of the War of Attrition, west of the Suez Canal in Egypt, and it was an aerial battle between the Israeli Air Force and Soviet fighter pilots stationed in Egypt. It was fought between MiG-21s, F-4 Phantoms, and the Mirage 3. Then by the guy with the squiggly W face, this is an F-84, escorting a B-36 in 3-1 scale. Then by Ilader, this is a Royal Air Force base in somewhere in the Atlantic South 1982. Then by Archmage Nurzer, 1.com. This is pull on, sign off, we're off, make it loud for the Romeo Foxtrot Shall We Dance. And this is a recreation of the scene from Apocalypse Now. Then by Miko Yang Gurevic, MiG-25 Foxbat. This is Operation Mount Hope 3. Then by Nobody, this is the Falkland Stanley Beach 1982 with some A4 Skyhawk and Harrier. Here's to be a crash. Then by Nova, this is the Yom War. The Israelis with the M60 Patton and M113 while the Egyptians have a destroyed T-55. Then by Lychee 101, so there is a 2K-12 Cub and it shot down a Huey and that crashed while one of the T-72 tracks have been hit. Then by He Who Sees All, the USS Growler during the Regulus missile training in the Caribbean Sea, 1959. Then by Graf Speed, this is a flight of A-10s in combat. Then by Archmage 001.com, this is American forces passing through a village near Da Nang during the Tet Offensive. Then by Nal Ya J, this is the USS Long Beach, CGN-9. It's a cruiser in 1.5 to 1 scale. Then by Omega-58 Maverick, this is the XB-70 Valkyrie, AV-2 launching a GAM-87 Skyball air launch ballistic missile in 10 to 1 scale. And here is the missile up close. Then by Wessel, these are the destroyers HLMNS Friesland and the Groening and cruiser De Reuter sailing in the small deal 3 Task Force 3. <laughs> And renders are done by Project Red. Then by Moss Grown, this is a tank battle of the Six Day War. Egyptian IS 3Ms face off against Israeli Magak 3s. Then by Squadron Gopnik, this is 1968 Hawker Hunter Tower Bridge incident where a Royal Air Force pilot Alan Pallock flying his Hunter FGA 9 through the span of the Tower Bridge to mark the 50th anniversary of the Royal Air Force. Then by Not Damien, this is Operation Eagle Claw, a US Armed Forces operation to rescue the embassy staff in Tehran, Iran in 1980. Then the guy with the squiggly W face, this is the Haaland and Small Lang in Guantanamo. I think it is Swedish. Then by Frinks, this is the July 20, 1969 Apollo lunar module on the moon. And it looks like they're using a green screen. Then by Corporal Alex Roach, this is March 1984, a Soviet S-300 along with two Ural 375s entering a bunker in a missile base on an island with a Mi-24 Hind landing in the background. Credit to T-14 Armada for the vehicles. Then by Vlana Shinden, this is the Kalininin, now the Admiral Nakimov. It's the third battlecruiser of the Soviet Russian Navy's Kirov class. And we also have the Cherovna Ukraina, now the Varyag, which is the third ship of the Slavic class of guided missile cruisers built for the Soviet Navy, now serving the Russian Navy. And then we have them docked at several World Wars <laughs> before the collapse of the Soviet Union. Credit to the working gamer for designing the helicopter and Nalia J for taking all the screenshots. All right, so those are all our submissions. Now we're going to judge the top 10.
So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, remember to hit that like button down below. And if you want to join future contests, check out our Discord. And anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.